This natural light coming into my apartment, you guys, making me look like a disco ball here. Is this really necessary? What is up, you guys? Hope you're having a really good week out there. Uh, today's video was actually going to be about skincare um, and super sensitive skin like mine. Um, but I actually got a DM that asked me for a hair care uh, tutorial. So this is a perfect time to do a get ready with me video. So as you guys can see, I just finished my daily sweat sesh. Shout out to Heather Robertson. So now this is the perfect time usually for me to deep condition my hair uh, using oils, which I love. Make sure you get comfortable, like this video, um, subscribe to my page down below, and follow me on Instagram for more hair tips. So um, today I kind of went to my beauty cabinet to find out what I actually have and what I haven't used a lot of. Um, so there are a couple of products that I want to shout out. This is probably like day three hair. Um, again, I have really dry skin and a really dry scalp, so I don't usually wash my hair every day. I am of Filipino descent. Uh, I am half African-American, half Filipino. Um, my hair tends to get a little bit dry um, at the ends. I want to always make sure that I'm conditioning and making sure that it has um, it sucks up all the moisture that it needs. Um, as you guys can see, my hair hasn't been heat styled um, at all. This is pretty much how it looks when I don't blow it dry or flat iron it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's starting to get there. It's, it's starting to grow. I'm all combed out. I am using, this is a gift from my sister. Um, I am using this Kopari Coconut Sheer Oil, um, which is good for the face and for the hair. So we'll drop her a little in here and get started. Growing up there in the kind of kind of smaller town that I'm from, still Southern California, but it was kind of a small town. Um, you know, aside from my sisters and I, there weren't there weren't really many other women that looked like my sisters and I. I have three sisters, so I'm I'm one of four. Um, or anyone that you know had our type of hair, our looks, our skin tone. And I think it's really refreshing now to have a lot of women that are elder millennials that are my age, you know, born in the 80s, born in the 90s, that are able to say, you know, hey, nobody looked like me, you know what I mean? Or nobody understood like my culture, or where my parents immigrated from, or like how hard they worked for us to be here. So I love now that you can go on YouTube and any young woman or young man um, out there can find someone that looks like him or her, has his or her skin tone, type of hair. Like that to me is really empowering. And I'm excited to be part of that conversation now. I'll get all washed and um, I'll come back and dry my hair and show you guys what tools I like to use. Okay guys, I am back. This is my hair without any heat styling, without any product. This is just with oil conditioning first, um, which we did earlier, and then regular shampooing and conditioning, which I wanna talk about. I was just getting my hair blown out if I could because it helped to just cut some of the time of getting ready out of my day. But since we can't do that now, um, dry bar, I miss you. I am actually using all dry bar products um, at home, which I was doing anyway, or which I had, but wasn't using as much because I wasn't doing my own hair, so. Now that I'm doing my own hair again. Um, right now I'm using the Dry Bar Liquid Glass um, Shampoo from the Dry Bar Distillery. Uh, it's really creamy, um, but I have to warn you, if you don't like fragrances in your cosmetics or beauty or skincare, um, it may not be for you. Uh, and then this is the Liquid Glass Conditioner. So what the Liquid Glass Collection does is it's just really moisturizing um, for the hair smoothing um, and it's supposed to just increase your hair's natural shine. So there we are with that. I grew up using Aveda so I still have a special place in my heart for it um, as it you know Aveda was one of the first purveyors of like natural 
hair products like natural hair care, like not really using a lot of fragrance, using plant-based formulas, and I still love them. With the smoothing infusion, I have the glossing straightener um, because I don't usually wear my natural wave. I take a little bit of um, the smoothing serum and then I mix it with the dry bar 100 proof. So I don't use a lot of this, even though I do have thick hair because it, for me, the experiences, it can look greasy. I just use like a little bit of that, like a pea-sized amount, not even a dime-sized. Like, have you guys ever put a dime-sized amount of product like in your hand? That is a lot of product. Like, growing up, people used to um touch my hair a lot. Like even in school, I mean, they all, it was like a joke for people. Sometimes I'm late to catch on when people are having like a joke at my expense. I would just notice like if someone felt like they were entitled to touch my hair or like touch my skin or ask me something about my body, the assumption was always that like it wasn't real, you know, or that I wore, you know, people would, I mean, they would just say like, oh, like, girl, that's a good weave, like, which is fine. Or they would be like, girl, you got that fly Malaysian hair, like, but I am Filipino, you know? So just, that's just something I've grown up with my, my whole life. So it's, it's, it's funny now that, you know, after the second time donating it, now that my hair is growing back and just is not quite where it was, that this is something that's now happening again. I'm just gonna blow dry really quick. I just have this like little mini um, Kristen S blow dryer. It's great for traveling. It's not that expensive. Her products are available at Target and to me are like good salon quality products. So I'll link that down below. Um, but I really want guys comment below if you want a video where I do, I use the Dyson Airwrap, um, especially on like my texture of hair. Like this is this is it, like this is my natural wave. So we'll blow dry really quick. <laughs> Probably helps to have it plugged in. Let's do this hair. So this is warmed up. This, as you can see, says 450 degrees. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. And hopefully this video is not gonna be 700 years long. So let's talk about this a little bit. I haven't put anything else, any other product um, on my hair besides the smoothing product from before and the dry bar 100 proof. Um, so I haven't done anything to seal this in. That's all just been like the flat iron, the heat, and the cuticle of my own hair. So let's finish this thing out. So I haven't put any other products in it yet. So this is pretty much done though. Um, make sure you turn off your flat irons. This one does have 
an automatic shut off, but I think it's after like a minute. I feel like two minutes sounds too long. I'll have to check my box, it's been a while, but this one does shut off auto, but still, turn off your tools. <laughs> Let me actually do this right now on camera. See this little on button here? And this is uh, where you can turn it up or down? Off. Okay, so let's find something to put on the ends of my hair. I'm thinking we use a little more of the 100 proof. And again, like a teensy, this is how I set the ends of my hair. Um, if I am going out or if I were going out, which I am not, I would use a little bit of Moroccan oil to spray the front. You know what? Let's just do it. This is my favorite still. It's one of my tried and true favorites and I just buy it over and over again. Um, so until another hair care brand makes a hairspray that I like more than this one, this is what you guys will see, the blue bottle. Uh, and this is the Luminous Hairspray in medium finish because I don't like anything to be like crispy. No flyaways on the top. <sighs> and let's set my makeup. Sensitive skin, I don't buy a whole lot of different products to use because I don't want to continue to have little scabs and war wounds like this. So, witch hazel. God, it's so refreshing. I don't overuse the oils just because I wanna make sure that I'm not overloading it and that my hair is getting really clean in the shower depending on which shampoo I use. So I'm letting this, I'm letting this set in. Let's blow dryer. Okay guys, this is the final look. Did you like this video? Let me know. Subscribe to my channel down below. Give this video a thumbs up or a heart and follow me on Instagram for more tips and tricks for long hair hair care routines. See you guys.